Hey there, this is Angie. I'm one of the creators of Blink Marketing, and I'm here today to talk to you about how to use our newsletter template and put it into your CRM. We're gonna do this in less than five minutes, and I'm gonna show you a great hack so that you can either just use the newsletter just like it is, or you can insert something like a new listing, a video, or anything else you want using our original template. I'm gonna zoom in here just a little bit. You can see um, that we have a lot of content here. You can use it as is. We work very hard to give you incredible content every month on every single item in our members portal. But if you wanna edit anything, you can easily do that. Obviously, we recommend that you change your personal information at the bottom. So once you have this newsletter exactly the way you want it, our first thing to do is go ahead and download our newsletter. We're gonna download that as a JPEG. We're gonna bump up the size a bit, make sure the quality is high, and today I'm gonna to use our Inspire Me uh, style. So I'm gonna go ahead and download, download that to my computer. All right, so once that's downloaded, you wanna duplicate that newsletter because what we're gonna do is our quick hack is gonna show you how to insert something in the middle of this newsletter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop the top half of my newsletter. I'm gonna go into my tools and crop. So there I've got the top half. And here I've got the bottom, whoop, that's my top half. Here's my bottom half. What I want to do is I actually want to insert my video right here. So I just need to crop this newsletter in half. Oops, I kind of missed that, so I'm going to zoom that. So once I crop that, then I basically have two halves of my newsletter, okay? I'm going to go ahead over to my CRM. We're going to practice using MailChimp today, but any CRM you use is fine. You do want to make sure that you use a CRM. It's going to be easier to keep track of all of your contact, your contacts. You're going to just look more professional, and there's more things that you can do with it than just sending from a Gmail or you know Yahoo account or something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and use a test audience that I have here so we can take a look at this. You want to make sure that all of your information is correct. That shouldn't take you too long. Okay, so just make sure everything's correct here. Let's add a subject line. I like to add some um, emojis in there, which is always fun to do. I don't know. I'm just making something up right now. And we want to make sure we always do preview text. And let's go ahead and design our email. This is the part where you're gonna find it's super easy to use our templates. So obviously a lot of CRMs have some pre-made templates. We're not gonna use those. We're gonna try and use the easiest one because we're gonna delete a lot of the information that they give us in the pre-made template because we don't need it. I'm gonna delete this, get out of there. I'm gonna go ahead with this footer and just edit this quickly and make sure this has my correct information. And I'm just gonna add a quick link back to our site here. All right, let's get to work on adding in our newsletter. I'm gonna add an image at the top. Now, if I just wanna send our newsletter as is, I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and upload a newsletter. Here it is, look at that. Insert it, done. All right, you could, and obviously this is some information there, we're gonna delete that because we don't need it. You could literally send this as is, okay? There's not much else that you need to do. I do like to recommend that you link that image back to your website, okay? Because that's important so that your clients go ahead and get that. I like to change this setting to edge to edge when I'm in MailChimp. All right, that's basically all you would need to do. But let's say we want to insert a video or insert a listing, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and we're gonna redo it using the hack that I showed you. So remember how we cut our newsletter in half. I'm gonna go ahead and upload the top half of my newsletter. Find it on your computer, there it is, and we're gonna throw those in there. So there's the top half, I'm going to insert that. And like I said, in my settings, I like to go edge to edge so it just is the full screen. I always like to add a link back to my website because I think that we wanna make sure we're always keeping our clients in the sphere of our social media and um, our online presence. We always wanna keep them coming back to uh, you know, our linking strategy of making sure they always end up where we want them to end up. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a video in the middle. All right, and because I already have 
my uh, web address saved on here, I'm gonna go ahead and add the bottom of my newsletter. There we go. And I'm gonna link that like we talked about. I wanna make sure that that bottom part of our newsletter always links back. I'm gonna go edge to edge and I'm done with that. Now let's add our video in here. I'm gonna grab one of our recent videos that we did. We did our, a new agent masterclass uh, for new agent strategies. It was amazing. If you haven't watched it yet, you should hop on our YouTube channel and watch it. And there we go. I'm pretty sure that we're four minutes in, <laughs> if I had to guess, and our newsletter is done. There's only one thing that I would add, and that's just some simple text at the bottom in case someone's email browser pulls some extra text, so we're gonna add that in. All right, let's center that. There we go, just some simple text. And another easy thing that you can do is since we're using a JPEG here, for our image. It's not a clickable link to get to your social handles. So if you put these in one time into your CRM, people can easily, continuing with that linking strategy, people can easily end up back at any of your social feeds very quickly and easily for you. All right, our newsletter is done. We're gonna click continue. And typically send a test email, but I already know this one's great. Um, but typically send a test email to yourself just to make sure everything looks great. And let's send this and we'll take a look at the preview. All right, let's hop over to my email and we'll take a look at it. All right, so as you can see, here's our newsletter. Came to my, I just sent this to my personal email address to test it. And if I click here, oh look, it's gonna take me to our, to our website. If I click on this link to watch the video, it's gonna take me right to our YouTube channel and that keeps people in our linking strategy. You can see our other videos here that will auto, um, that'll auto play. And if they happen to click down here, again, they're gonna end up at my website where they can also find social, um, social links and you know other information. So for you, that would mean it would come back to your real estate website or your Facebook page or wherever you want it to link to. So there you go, that is our five minute newsletter <laughs> tutorial. If you have five minutes every month, you can make sure that you send your newsletter to your sphere to stay relevant. Another option is if you're running out of time, hire a virtual assistant to send your newsletter, to go ahead and mail your postcards. Vista Print's a, way, a great way to do that. They can print and mail them to your sphere. You can also mail out your Popeyes to save you time each and every month. And it takes about two to three hours to schedule your social media in advance for the entire month. That's a big time saver. Again, you can hire a virtual assistant to do that, or we actually have a level two plan for 99 a month where it will auto post your social media for you every single month. You don't even have to think about it. So those are some great options for you. Um, please reach out if you have any questions. We're very accessible through text or email or even give us a call. And um, we look forward to helping you. Thanks.